Notion just updated its publishing feature with a few customization options that bring it a little bit closer to being a legitimate website builder and really the easiest way to get a website up and running. And they labeled it Notion Sites, but even with these new capabilities, a Notion site still looks like Notion. And that really undermines your ability to present yourself with professionalism and distinction. But with these incremental improvements came an enormous hidden benefit that gives you full control over the styles and scripts and all the code behind your published Notion pages. So I'm gonna walk you through the new Notion sites and then dive into that big hidden benefit that let me transform this ordinary Notion page into this really exceptional professional website. And that Notion page, along with the style sheet that transforms it, is available to members of Notion A to Z. If you're not yet a member of Notion A to Z, we hope you'll join us so you can make the most of Notion as it so quickly evolves. So when you publish a Notion page from the share menu, it gets a notion.site URL where anyone can view it like a web page. You can choose to make it discoverable by search engines or set the public URL to expire. And with the launch of Notion sites, we can now customize the navigation menu and other elements within the header, upload a preview image for when the site is shared, set the theme to light or dark. But above all, Notion sites allows us to use a custom domain name or a subdomain of your primary website. And that has the obvious benefit of hiding the Notion brand and making it more of your own web property. But the big hidden benefit is that you can run it through Cloudflare, which gives you full control of the site beyond Notion's native options, which remain limited. So what is Cloudflare? You've probably noticed these dystopian moments when all major websites seem to crash at the same time. And that's almost always an issue with Cloudflare because most legitimate websites run through it. I run all of my sites through Cloudflare, and if you work with websites or domains in any capacity, you should too. Cloudflare is sort of a middleman between web browsers requesting websites and the servers responding to those requests. By controlling those requests and responses, Cloudflare offers a wide assortment of benefits, including enhancements to the performance and security of websites. And on top of those standard upgrades, Cloudflare can actually modify the content of websites returned by its servers. And that gives us full control of our Notion sites. That means we can add a custom style sheet that completely transforms the site's appearance. That's all I did to my professional page and what we'll walk through here momentarily. And on top of the style sheet, we could add custom JavaScript to perform custom actions, add custom fonts, or install third-party apps like chatbots or e-commerce features. So to tap into Notion's new compatibility with Cloudflare, you'll want to have at least an elementary understanding of a website's front-end fundamentals. And if you need to fill some gaps in your knowledge, this is really an excellent learning opportunity. A foundational understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript will give you a whole new perspective of the web. You'll know what's happening under the hood of apps like Notion, Zapier, and Webflow, so you can use them to the fullest, and in many cases, save tons of money by doing what they do yourself. And for Notion creators, this is really an incredible opportunity to distinguish yourself in what's become a really oversaturated market for Notion resources. So let's walk through the steps for adding a custom style sheet, which is really the greatest benefit of this capability. And we'll use my site as an example. So first, you want to be sure that your domain is connected to Cloudflare. Once you've created your account, within Websites, you'll click Add a Site, and then follow the steps for updating the name servers of your domain wherever it's registered. And then you'll connect your Notion site to the domain. Go ahead and publish the page from the Share menu, and then the top option allows you to select a domain. To add a new one, click Manage All Domains, then New Domain and Custom Domain. And Notion charges $10 per month for each custom domain, so it'll ask you to confirm that purchase. And then you'll enter your domain, and Notion will provide two records to add in the DNS section of your site in Cloudflare. One is a CNAME record, which will be the subdomain if you're using one. Otherwise, it'll be www. And then the other record is a text record. So for each one, you'll specify it as the type, then paste the name provided by Notion, and then the value. And when adding that CNAME record, it's important to disable Cloudflare's proxy status. That allows Notion to verify the configuration. And then once Notion shows the domain is live, you want to enable the proxy so Cloudflare can manage requests and responses. And then back in your published page, the domain is available for you to select. And doing so takes it live at your own domain. 
And then you want to get your style sheet live before it's even populated. Just a blank CSS file. You'll see why momentarily. And there's not really a dependable way to host your style sheet within your Notion site, so it needs to live somewhere else. If you have another website with a more conventional web host, you can upload it there. But I like to use Cloudflare's R2 storage feature with another subdomain of the same domain my Notion site uses. So for example, if my Notion site is at site.notion.vip, I might use assets.notion.vip with R2. And then my style sheet URL could be assets.notion.vip slash style.css. And the next step is to create a Cloudflare worker, which is really one of Cloudflare's most powerful features. It allows you to run JavaScript on requests from web browsers and responses from servers as it intercepts them. Now you can copy and paste my code from the companion post on Notion VIP, but JavaScript is such an essential skill that opens so many new doors. If you don't know it already, I strongly encourage you to take a simple introductory course and then use this procedure for practice. So back in the home page of your Cloudflare account, you'll see an option called Workers and Pages. Click that and then Create. Give it a relevant name and then Deploy it. And then choose Edit Code. And this is where you can paste my code or reference it as you rewrite it yourself. All it does is, for any request to your Notion site's domain, if the server's response is HTML, it adds the style sheet within the head. So you want to be sure to replace my style sheet URL with yours. So once that's set, deploy the worker again, and then return to the dashboard and choose Settings and Triggers. And this is where you can add your Notion site domain as a route. And remember, this works because you enabled Cloudflare's proxy within your CNAME record. And that just leaves us to the fun of transforming your site as you compose your style sheet. And obviously, this is where you'll need a fundamental understanding of CSS. But like JavaScript, it's really an empowering skill, and this is a terrific opportunity to learn it. So what I like to do is when visiting the site, open developer tools and find the style sheet within the sources tab. It's there because our worker added it on its way to our browser from the server. And as I edit it, the site reflects the new styles in real time. So I can use the inspector to get familiar with the HTML structure and identify the CSS selectors of the elements I want to format. Now this version of the style sheet doesn't save, so I'm continuously pasting my code into a code editor and saving. Then as you reach certain milestones, you can upload the updated style sheet wherever you hosted it. And theoretically, you should see the changes when you refresh, but practically, your old CSS is likely cached in your browser or Cloudflare or your web host. So I like to keep them all open to clear quickly. And after a good amount of tinkering that's both tedious and gratifying, you will have transformed your site from a run-of-the-mill Notion page to a striking professional website. And along the way, as questions emerge, feel free to ask them within the YouTube comments. And you'll definitely find it helpful to reference my sample site and style sheet. Like I said, they're both available within Notion A to Z, along with the Bulletproof Framework, and all of my other resources for making the most of Notion. If you haven't yet joined us, we'd love to have you. And be sure to subscribe to the Notion VIP newsletter for really empowering insights as Notion so quickly evolves.